describe myself in three words or less. I am ambitious. I am a patient person. Um, and I guess a little quirky or zany is probably the word most people would put on. You know, I had to get to this point in life by taking from people. In fact, I got to this point by doing unto others before they do unto me. Quirky, I guess, or, or whatever the terminology would be for just someone outside the box, which is not necessarily a word as a phrase, but why, I guess, be in the crowd when you could just do your own thing and what makes you unique is are the things that make you different. I mean, we all have things that make us different, but we all have a lot of similarities, but some people just have these extraordinary extra things about them that just makes them really, I guess, amazing or impactful. So. How did I get into acting? I believe, I guess, when I was a child doing um, different talent, not talent shows. I got into acting when I was in probably kindergarten or first grade. I went to Progressive Christian Academy. Every year we would do different, you know, Easter programs. It was, a, well, I say a Christian school, Easter programs, Christmas pro programs, black history programs. So I had to get used to learning speeches and playing characters on top of already just knowing, like when I see this on TV, I'm like, okay, this is what these people are doing. So that's pretty much how I started. I've been calling you, you don't answer your phone? What, do you want me to cut the phone off or something? We need to talk, David. You're right, we do need to talk. You've been kind of distant lately. What's going on with you? I'm through. It's over. What do you mean you're through? We're, we're through. What do you mean? Influences. I'm not sh sure if, I, well, I guess, I guess a lot. Um, I know, at least with the acting growing up, I used to um, watch Batman, the one with Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton, the first, well, not technically the first Batman, but the first in that series of Tim Burton. And I used to look at Jack Nicholson play the Joker, and I'm just like, I really, really would love to do that. I don't think I even knew it was called acting at the time. I, I probably did, because I think I've known for since a pretty young age I wanted to be an actor. So definitely Jack Nicholson. Um, I used to watch 13 WMAZ News and Macon and I was like, well, I, I would like to be a news anchor. I just knew it would be something television, film, media related. And um, The Price is Right. I used to watch that a lot and the soap operas with my babysitter. Met him as we were both hired and started on the same day. And we, uh, we share an office at, back with the Mass Communications Department. And um, at first, I, my first impression of him was he, he was a bright, bright guy, bright young guy. Um, all, all the arrows pointed up for him. His cream is my brother, my oldest brother, by 18 months is what they tell me. I mean, I wasn't there when he was here. So, I mean, I came here afterwards. So whenever I was here, I was here. What stands out about Kareem is uh, his, uh, his drive, most importantly. Like, Kareem doesn't, Kareem doesn't come to an obstacle or a challenge that he doesn't respond to and, and, and overcome. He, he doesn't, um, there's no quit in him. And, and you know, that, that's the dude I want on my team. Like, I, 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 I want the guy that has no quit in him. Uh, who? Kareem? Is he? Quite talented? He is. I was just joking. Laugh, people, laugh. You know what I'm saying? But yes, he's quite talented. That's who Kareem is. You know, uh, when, uh, when things get crazy, uh, Kareem's the guy that, uh, roll his sleeves up and crack a smile and jump into the fray. And, uh, very effective and successful when he does and 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 he's so brilliant that it's, it's hard to hide you know it it, it exudes and so uh yeah I, I mean long story short i'm aware of what kareem can do and how effective he is i mean on attitude wise i'm very outgoing i'm gonna be straight up in your face and everything else but as far as Doing my work as far as talent wise, he's always been the person to go out there and go for auditions, go to this and go to that. I always been the one that's like, whenever I get called on, I'll go. And with him working in the mass communication department, I mean, I've, I've been in the mall, been downtown, 
been on Facebook, people were like, I know you. I was like, no, you don't. It was like, no, 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 you're that guy that helped me out. And I was like, ha, ha, ha. No, I'm not. They was like, yeah, you just grew your hair out of something. You put weave in your hair. I was like, no, that's my brother. My brother has always been a strong motivation. Um, he pretty much has a kind of a willpower of his own. He's always kind of been this outgoing, headstrong person. But he, he's always very encouraging and motivating and pretty much telling me to go after what I want. If I was going, going to war, I, I'd want him in my foxhole. Yes, I see myself always evolving and growing. I'm the type of, if I'm not evolving, if I'm not growing, if I, I was just thinking about this other day, actually, I was like, <laughs> take, thinking about um, actually taking just, not a full break, which I did last year. I took a slight step back from acting. I only did one play last year. And even that was a stage production. We just did two like small productions at a like little local um, things and places. But I took a step back because at that moment, I just did not feel like I was growing. I wanted more challenging things to work with different people. Like for example, this web series I'm in now coming up, something different, playing different roles, searching for just better material. Same thing with music. Um, I'm starting into photography a lot lately. Same thing with doing photography, even with my writing. Whatever I'm doing, if I'm not building on it, expanding it, making it something new or different, if I keep doing the same thing, I think that would just get boring to me. So yeah. Um, which is why I say even like with the music, if I'm, I might not necessarily sing it if it's a country song, but I sure as heck could write it. I could, you know, produce it. It might be something that's borderline country rock or something, but whatever. It's still outside of the comfort zone. And so it keeps you on your feet. It keeps you learning. It keeps you growing. That's